All eyes are on Google this week as they are preparing for a highly anticipated launch of the Gemini 3.0 as we have showcased on this channel. But unexpectedly today, Google dropped another new advancement with the release of Gemini 2.5 computer use. This is now available in preview via API as well as the Google AI Studio. But this new computer use model is a specialized extension of the Gemini 2.5 Pro. It's designed to power AI agents that can interact directly with user interfaces. And I've got to say, it's pretty impressive. In terms of its performance, it currently ranks number one, outperforming leading alternatives like Anthropic's Sonnet 4.5, as well as OpenAI's computer agent on multiple benchmarks. Google says the model delivers industry-leading browser control with its low latency based on its performance on the browser-based harness. Just take a look at this example where the Gemini 2.5 computer use is able to open up a pet setup store and it is finding different dog breeds within California. It pulls up their details and then it switches to the spa's CRM site where it fills out all the information, adds the pet as a guest, and it books a follow-up appointment with the different customer's name. And this is for a particular date, which is October 10th after 8 a.m. using the same treatment they originally requested. So you can see that it is able to follow user instructions pretty precise, and it's a lot faster than what we saw previously with the previous version of the computer use. Here is another demo where Gemini 2.5 goes to a sticky note jam website, reads the messy digital board, and identifies all the art club tasks. It understands the user predefined categories, and then it drags each sticky note into the right section, which is actually pretty impressive. Gemini 2.5 computer use operates in a continuous agent loop, which you can see over here. It takes in the user request, it screenshots the current interface like be how it did before, and then a short history of previous actions will also be used for future generations. So using this context, the model then decides the next UI action, whether that's clicking a button, typing a text, or dragging the element, and then it can even ask for user confirmation when it's needed. But once the action is actually executed, the environment sends back an updated screenshot as well as a URL, so it allows the model to analyze the new state and it continues the loop until the task is complete. This cycle enables Gemini to interact with the real web interfaces autonomously, efficiently, and safely. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis, so this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. Now, to access this new Gemini 2.5 computer use, you can definitely do so through the hosted version off of BrowserBase. This is where you can access it and test it out over here it's called gemini browser and you can send in any natural language prompt and you can watch how the ai browses the web so you can tell it to get the latest crypto prices send in this prompt and it will execute it using this new computer use model another way to access it is through the google ai studio by accessing the api and then you can use it locally to run different sorts of tasks now i'm just testing it out over here on the gemini browser base before i use it with something like kilo code and this is where i'm gonna have it first review a pull request this is one prompt that i'm testing to see how fast it is in terms of taking in multiple instructions this is where we're having it uh, go over to the github repository for browser base which is called stagehands and we're making sure the combination evolves and the pr validation are passed this is where we're trying to see how fast it is in terms of navigating through all the different component libraries within the repo and seeing how fast it is in terms of providing us the result that we are requiring. So it's been one minute and 18 seconds. And so far it is now navigating to the pull request section of stagehands. Finally, we are at the last step where it has evaluated that was opened. Now it is checking the combination evals in the PR validation and seeing if they're passed or not. Unfortunately, I missed the screen recording for the section where it was able to evaluate the success, but it took approximately three minutes and it was able to finish the task and give us the summary of what it had accomplished. Now, in terms of its input token limit, it has 128K limit and for its output, it's listed at 64K.
Now guys, if you're looking to set this up locally and implement the computer use, you're going to need to make sure you have a couple of dependencies installed beforehand. You're going to need to make sure you have Playwright installed. You can use the pip install command within your terminal to install it. Then all you got to do is just get an API key from the Google AI Studio. You're going to need to make sure it's connected to a billing account. Then you can create a computer use folder and then within that folder create a python file name it whatever you want you can name a computer use and then when you have opened up vs code or whatever id you have you can open up that computer use python file and now you can set up all the different computer use scripts like sending a request to the model you can define it by receiving the model response executing the received actions there's a couple of things that you can set like building the agent loop so Use this docs to help you build the script that you can use to implement the computer use for your, your local use cases. So there we go. I have set my Python script and this is where it's going to be using the Gemini 2.5 computer use agent for gathering the top five trending AI research papers. And let's see how fast it is in comparison to the results we got from the Gemini browser base. And there we go. I just ran the script and you can see right now it is now using the computer use to go over to archive and find the top five trending AI research papers. So, so far, what I've realized is that if you are to run scripts using this new Gemini 2.5 computer use model, it is a lot faster and more efficient than the Gemini browser. So if you're looking to get started with it locally, I believe that is the best option. Use the, its capabilities to get the best out of it. Let's run another example where we're going to have it fetch the latest price of Bitcoin as well as Ethereum. And let's see if it's able to do this a lot faster than what we saw with the previous example. So one thing I noticed is that it got the correct price for Bitcoin, but it also searched the price of Ethereum on Google and it didn't seem to find the correct answer it was looking for. So now it's looking for prices off of Coinbase to provide me the correct answer for the price of Ethereum. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But that's about it guys for today's video on the new Gemini 2.5 computer use model. It's a pretty impressive model that's definitely more efficient and a lot more precise in comparison to the computer use we saw from Anthropic. And it's a lot better than what we saw initially from Gemini with its computer use agent. But let's see how impressive it gets with the Gemini 3.0 model when it's officially released, maybe in the next couple of weeks or even this week. But that's basically it, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel. Make sure you go ahead and join the newsletter, join our private Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video, and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from. But with that thought, guys, have an amazing day. Spread positivity, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.